He shall be taken without the walls of the city, where pestilence shall hold dominion over all. The water will stink and prove bitter on his tongue. A plague of isolation shall deliver him to decrepitude. Whither shall he fly in such misery? He wants to run. Where can he run? It's blood uptown and blood downtown, blood in the woods and blood in the country. He will crawl like a raving dog, starving with the hunger. But the will therein layeth, which does not die. Who knows the mysteries of the will with its vigor? For God is but a great will pervading all things by nature of its intent. Man does not yield himself to the angels, nor unto death utterly, save only through the weakness of his feeble will. The sky shall vanish, and he shall enter the empire of the Lord, through the silent labyrinth of death to the echoing chambers of paradise, in whose serene opalescence lives the innocent, and goodness lives forever like the odor of a million flowers and the sense of every spirit who lives therein. Where numberless ranks of angels draped in feeble robes that hang like golden ethers about each celestial frame, angels who sing as with one voice the fabulous music of the spheres.
essence of eternity she reigns. Immaculate, in flames of pale blue mystery, her frail features radiant with some extra lunar incandescence. The mystic rose, in whose blemishing grace he shall come to know the appalling strangeness of the mercy of God.